The ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine has led to an increase in fuel prices in many parts of Europe. Es ist zu hoch, eindeutig. Ja, ich habe Sonntag getankt. The gas price is apparently too high. Luckily, I got a small car. I just filled up on Sunday but paid twice as much as before for less fuel. Sometimes I have to choose public transportation to save money. The food prices are just as bad. We were spoiled by the low prices in the past. The cost of daily life has obviously become higher than before. Fears of an oil supply shortage have added to the price volatility. Brent crude, a global benchmark, remains comfortably above US$100 per barrel, which has sent prices at the pump to new highs across Europe. Europe's energy largely relied on imports. According to Eurostat, the statistical office of the European Union, more than half of the EU's energy needs were met by net imports in 2019, with Russia accounting for more than 40% of imports of natural gas to the EU. The situation in our country, in terms of fuel prices, is very difficult. Things are difficult for the sector, for gas station owners, and also for consumers. Fuel is now a sort of luxury product and we forget that it is a social need. People need it to go to work. On inflation we will evaluate the impact of rising energy prices which are likely, in the short term, to increase inflation numbers. Persistent uncertainty though, will probably be a drag on consumption and investment and will impede growth.